In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Mike Connolly's three-point shot, how he is able to shoot so consistently so that you can also become a better three-point shooter. Let's get down and let's check him out. So Mike Connolly is a left-handed shooter, which means that his left foot right there is going to be ahead of his right foot. Generally speaking, your toes will be slightly ahead so that you can line up the left side of your body to the rim. This is an extremely important task to be able to do. Now, just like a regular left-handed shooter, he actually tilts away from the basketball net. Now, the reason for this is because he wants to get his shoulder and his elbow in line with the basketball net. And, of course, a lot of, actually every single left-handed shooter I have ever seen does not square up to the basket, which is interesting. Right-handed players like Clay Thompson can, but many left-handed shooters can't. Nothing against them, it's just how I've always seen it. Even though this is a three-point competition, we can see that he is up onto his toes off of his heels. That's going to activate his calf muscles so that he can get up into the air faster. Now, of course, in a three-point competition, you're generally not looking to jump super high, but Mike Connolly also doesn't jump super high when he shoots either. However, everyone's jump is going to be different and of course some players may need to jump higher on their shot so that they can get more power or create more power into their shot while others don't necessarily need to now he does dip the ball here and he does also dip the ball slightly in game two that allows him to get his left side of his body in line with the basketball net now when he goes up for a shot and we're going to take a closer look to uh, look at this as well but when he goes up for a shot, he also has that ball covering roughly the left side of his face, which allows that, that ball to be over top of his upper arm, as his upper arm is in line with the basketball net, with that ball over top of that imaginary line, that is going to allow him to have a good shot. And we do see this right here. Now, of course, this is actually a perfectly in-line video focus of the ball, and it does seem to cover a lot of his face. However, you have to remember this camera is slightly off towards the side as well. And when you start looking closer, you can see the right side of his face. So, of course, what that tells us is when he starts to go up for a shot, that is telling us that, of course, he is still able to see the net with his right eye. And then if we can focus on the right hand for just a second, we can also see that he doesn't shoot all that much with a thumb flick. I wouldn't even classify this as a thumb flick at all. Some people may because, of course, the thumb is pointing towards the basket. However, I think that's just how he releases the ball. His palm is not facing the rim. So that means to me that, of course, that's not going to be affecting his shot at all. And there is really no thumb flick at all. When he does follow through, I do notice that he keeps his elbow above his forehead, which is going to give him an, a lot of arc. And then he brings the arm back down to go grab the other ball. We can see from this angle as well that he also has his left hand slightly tilted away from the basket, which is actually quite interesting. But when he goes up for a shot, we can see that his hand actually tilts and then straight towards the basket, which is actually quite interesting and different than most players. We can also see from his release that he has a hard release for all of those looking and wondering what I have always meant by a hard release. There's two types of releases. There's one where the hand is soft, where it kind of arcs, and then there's the hard release where it's like that. And basically, really quickly, what I'm talking about is when you shoot, if you have a hard release like this, that is a hard release. If you have a soft release, it kind of does this like a wave almost I guess you could say and right now we're gonna be really focusing in on that right hand we can see that there is no thumb flick we can see that his middle finger is the last finger that touches the ball because of course the pointer finger is now pointing towards the basket the middle finger is way up in the air and of course 
that is his release. We can see it right there. Actually, yeah, it could be both his pointer and middle finger, but from this angle, it does also still look like that middle finger is higher and is the last finger that touches that ball. But see what I mean by that hard release. He goes hard and then he goes soft, which is quite interesting. While other shots, he stays hard and then it goes in. So this is what I mean by really analyzing your shot form. Now, of course, he is in a three-point competition, but if he goes hard and soft right away, he tends to miss. But if he goes and stays hard and holds that for a bit and then brings it down, he tends to make it. So always want to analyze your shooting form and see what works for you, what works for you when it goes in, and then try to remember to do that every single shot. Now, I'm not saying that Mike Connolly isn't doing that, but again, this is something that is quite interesting to me and something that I do point out to a lot of players. I really do like his shooting form. So, of course, if you are a left-handed shooter, some of these tips might help for you. I hope that this video has helped you shoot the basketball better. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.